Well, I think this one's the thoughts and musings on the coronavirus. That's an old Martin 2015 from the 1970s. Anybody that's up a Glasgow file. That says the Archies on the bottom of it. A venue worked in for 20 odd years. What a remarkable place that was. So, looks like the lovely aren't they? Absolutely beautiful looking thing. Pretty sub, uh, pretty base cabinets ever built. So it looks like my industry is not going to, it doesn't exist anymore. And it also looks like nobody's going to want to hire any of this stuff for a while. So what we are up to today is playing the biggest game of Tetris imag imaginable. This is a Martin Audio WSX sub bass cabinet. Five high. I would love to power them up and stick. That's the W8C compacts that go with it. That little system makes some racket when it's all working. What else we've got? Some more Martin Audio kit over there that came out in installation. There's another rack, five WSX subs. A really old Midas analog board. Over at the back, we have a EAW KF850 system, big enough to do them for three and a half thousand people. Again, that's not going to do anything. My favourite small sound system of the moment is a Tannoy VQ100. Very small, very pokey, very powerful. Vintage amplifiers. I Google. There's racks right over these things so I have. So, if... That's the top boxes of the Tannoy stuff as well. You see that? Tannoy VQ100. Absolutely remarkable little PA system. We wouldn't recommend it enough. That's all driven off of lab group and amplifiers. So today's video is I now have a warehouse full of stuff that's costing me quite a lot of money to store. Nobody's going to want to buy any of this stuff because nobody's going to clubs. That's some size of base stack, isn't it? Nobody's going to clubs, nobody's going to venues. So everything's absolutely whacked. The plan I've come up with this is an addendum to tidying up my messy workshop from a couple of weeks back. That's about 30 hours work just to through boxes to work out what I've got and put everything away. My system was, well, we'll take out away boxes and small things down there. That's loud speaker, what's that, ports, handles, cabinet hardware and stuff. So every, every, everything, everything's marked up. So the plan is just bury this stuff for six months or a year until people want to go out partying again. But if I'm being honest, I think my days doing live sound are all but over. If I could sell this stuff just now, I'd invest the money in the studios upstairs and the next part of the plan I've come up with is to you. There's a metal bar on the wall. There's another one there. I'm going to partition that off all the way down and make little units for storage and uh, workshop guys to use. Just anything to get, it's our beautiful assistant is back again, anything to get money in to keep the business alive. I currently owe the landlord a fortune. He's ready to throw me out and I've got no income. I'm supposed to be due money from the government but they're really dragging their heels so. This isn't an after, but it's not a before either. Just my ramblings and musings, and I look at a big pile of stuff that I, things and stuff that I had lying about in my workshop, which will need to be sold. Big reggae scoop base bins, they're fantastic things as well. Some GBL and Tano you get over there. Okay, so really boring upload as ever from the dog. But I trust you're all well, and hopefully, the next time you see this place. So that's Rafi, that's Ken, they've just moved in. Oh, I see a lot of YouTube. Hopefully the next time you see this place, it'll be tidy and it'll look like a business. So, I know everybody's going through it, but this is just the ramblings of an industry that's been decimated by a, a virus. So, God bless you, Mary Gentlemen, to all our care services core workers, thank you so much. And if anybody's got any money wants to buy any of this stuff, hit me up. It's doing me absolutely no good whatsoever in here. Alrighty. Bye.